board certified immigration lawyer by the Texas Board of Legal Specialization. And today I'm speaking about President Obama's Deferred Action Program. Some refer to it as Executive Action, others refer to it as Executive Orders, and some even call it Amnesty. Today I just wanted to speak briefly about his speech on November 20th of 2014 and exactly what happened. And on that evening of November 20th, 2014, President Obama announced a uh, program where his administration was going to grant deferred action status to certain individuals in the United States, which would include the parents of U.S. citizen children and the parents of lawful permanent resident children, together with a deferred action for individuals who came here as young adults to the United States. There had been a cutoff of age 31 for the young adults, but now it covers individuals who came here before the age of 16, no matter how old they are now. And the deferred action status does not lead to citizenship. It's not a path to citizenship. It doesn't lead to a green card. What it does is it allows people to live in the United States for the period of deferred action, which is three years. And, it, and once an individual has deferred action, they can then apply for a work permit. This is part of the federal regulations that have existed for quite some time. That is that individuals who have deferred action status are allowed to apply for a work permit. The president indicated that those work permits would last for three years. And at the end of the three year period, as long as that's still the rule of the government, those individuals would be able to get an extension. Now, President Obama did not announce all the details, but rather the details of these programs will come from memos that are issued by the Department of Homeland Security. And on that same evening of November 20th, there were a number of memos that were released by the Department of Homeland Security describing exactly who was covered. And part of what it said is that individuals who have been here who are the parents of U.S. citizen or lawful permanent resident children who have been in the United States since January 1, 2010 and can prove it would be entitled to apply for this deferred action program. And our office will be helping individuals in putting together those applications and submitting them to the Immigration Service.